open up and say, ah. Uh. Ah. Very good. Say, ah. Uh. Ah. Good. Say, ah. Uh. Ah. No, not ah. Just ah. Ah. Mmm, parrotfish. Just in time for lunch. Ooh, I've never tried a penguin before. Oh, I know I shouldn't eat you. You seem so nice, but I'm a great white shark. I can't help it. Couldn't you try to help it? Aye, all right. Trying. No, gotta eat you. Sorry. <gasps> That looks like a big metal fish. Never tried one of those. Captain Barnacles, come in. What is it, Peso? I'm being chased by a great white shark. <laughs> and he got a piece of the gum. <laughs> Tweak, open the octo hatch now. You got it, Cap. <laughs> That's horrible. I think I'd rather have the penguin. Just a little bit further, Peso. Tweak, close the octo hatch now. Ouch! What happened? Cap, the shark is stuck. But if we open the hatch any further, he'll get in. We need to create enough water pressure to blast the shark out without hurting him. Tweak, activate Super Flush. It worked. The shark is out. But look. <laughs> the shark must have hurt his fin swimming into the octopod. Looks like he could use a bandage. I suppose we should. Sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, there's an injured great white shark out there that needs our help. But we must be careful. The great white shark is one of the most powerful predators in the sea. And one of the hungriest. That's true. He does like to eat, and he'll try just about anything to see if he likes it. If he doesn't, he'll just spit it out. Well, I'm not afraid of any shark. I don't care how great he is. Peso, I can bandage him. Um... Quasi, I'm the medic. It's my job to help any creature who is hurt or sick, no matter what. <laughs> Shellington, is there a way to safely approach the great white shark? There is one way. Sometimes, when a shark is flipped over on its back, it gets very calm and peaceful. But it only stays that way for a short amount of time. I could bandage the shark if it were calm and peaceful, but he's swimming away. Oh! Ooh. Oh! Oh! Many sharks have to keep moving to stay alive. If they stop moving, they can't breathe. Then we'll need to flip the shark over to calm him down. Keep him moving so he can breathe, and then Peso can bandage him up. Tweak, prepare the Gup X. Great white shark straight ahead. Attention, shark. We are the Octonauts, and we're here to help. Ooh, that looks tasty. It's all right. I'd like to take a look at your fin. Then I can... <laughs> As I was saying, I... <laughs> oh, I know I should just say thank you for trying to help me. <laughs> but a shark's got to eat. <laughs> he can't eat the cup eggs. <laughs> oh, he's getting tired. And if he gets too tired, he'll stop moving and he won't be able to breathe. Then we need to act fast. Quasi, can you go out there and distract the shark while I flip him over? My pleasure, Captain. Yow! Oh, you shark! Uh, can you not see I'm trying to eat? You can't take a bite out of that. 
lost. I'm a lot tastier. Seriously? Ooh, I'll try anything once. Well, you'll have to catch me first, matey. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, my fin hurts. Mm, but I'm still gonna get you. <laughs> Here, shocky, shocky. Follow me this way. Ah, good work, Quasi. And flip! I feel so calm. Do you still want to eat us? Why would I want to eat you? I just want to be your friend. Captain, he's in a trance. Calm as a clam. Time for the next part of the plan. <laughs> that kind of tickles. <laughs> Good for a ride. OK, the shark is calm, he's moving and he's breathing. Now I can bandage his fin. Be careful, Peso, and quick. The shark won't be calm for long. Right oh, Peso. Nice and steady. Ah! Ooh, a wee penguin. I'm here to bandage your fin. <laughs> that tickles, Pop. <laughs> uh oh, I didn't know you were ticklish. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Steady. Just have to get down to the fin. <laughs> okay, I think this calls for a super speedy triple loop around the shark fin wrap. Hurry, Peso. He could come out of his trance any second. There. Good as new. How do you feel? Oh, good. I'm hungry. Oh, no. You're out of your trance. Peso! Flappity flippers. You saved my life. I should just say thank you, but I'm hungrier than ever. Hop on, matey. A cat, a penguin, and a crunchy motor thingy. It's an all you can eat party! Hey, I feel fantastic. Was he the shark's after us? No problem. We just need some more speed. Hold on! Quasi, keep away from the shark for as long as you can. Copy that, Captain! I've got an idea. Tunip, come in. Uh, I need an extra large supply of fish biscuits. Shooter, Judith. <laughs> All right, Quasi, try to lead the shark towards the surface. I've got a little snack for him. <laughs> Come on, Sharky, right this way. Quasi, look. Captain, we're almost out of power. Can you get the octo ski up in the air? Aye, aye, Captain. Oh, oh, yummy! Bullseye! Yeah, we better get out of here. Uh oh. You're right. <gasps> Don't worry, guys. I'm not hungry. You're not? Nope. The most delicious fish biscuits just flew into my mouth. It was so strange. And now I don't have to eat you, which is great, because I love you guys. You fixed my fin. Thanks. But just a warning. I could get hungry again. In that case, how about a little dessert? <laughs> Oh, 
Hold still, Puffy. Yow! Up for a little table tennis, Peso? Not now, Quasi. I'm helping this little porcupine puffer with a sore spike. But it's going to be all better soon. All better? Really? Give a wiggle and see. You, one eye's looking this way and the other's looking that way. A porcupine puffer's eyes can look in two different directions at the same time. Careful not to startle Puffy here, or else he'll... Yeah! Ooh! Yeah! Ooh. <clears throat> Hello, Captain. I, I was just, uh, practising me sword fighting. <laughs> ah, with a table tennis bat. <laughs> Quasi was just startled when Puffy puffed up. I do this when I'm scared to stay safe. And with these spikes, a bigger fish would have a hard time eating me. And it's a good thing, too. Porcupine puffers are really poisonous. It's okay, Puffy. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, my spike is starting to feel better. Thanks, Peso. Off you go then, Puffy. Bye bye. Oh. There he goes. Good work, Peso. Another happy patient. Quasi, what's that big grey thing swimming towards Puffy? Oh, uh, that's just a. Uh... Whale shark! Puffy, look out! With at least one of those crazy eyes of yours! Yeah! Oh no! Peso, sound the Octo Alert! Octonauts to the HQ! Octonauts, this mission is a double rescue. We've got to save a porcupine puffer and the whale shark who's just swallowed him. Porcupine puffers are small, but they're one of the most poisonous creatures in the ocean. If the puffer gets into the whale shark's stomach, he'll be turned into food. And his poison will spread and make the whale shark very sick. We've got to get him out and fast. For both their sakes. Peso, Quasi, to the launch bay. <laughs> Rope? Check. Fish pack? Check. Uh, what does this do? It's a fish pack. You just pull that cord and you got yourself a portable fish tank. So the puffer is safe in the water and you're safe from his prickly spines. Good thinking, Tweak. Octonauts, let's do this. Quasi. You swim into the whale shark's mouth. Grab Puffy, put him into the fish pack. Then I'll give you the signal. And we'll pull you out by the rope. Aye, sounds easy enough to me. There he is. And he's going after those tiny krill. Strap on the fish pack, Quasi. Quasi? Yow! Peso, you drive. I'm coming oh. for you, Puffy! Yeah. Oh. Ouch! Easy does it. I'll just put you in this... fish pack. Here it comes, Quasi. Thanks, Kevin. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. Follow that whale shark, Peso! Turbo booster, or we'll lose them. That nervous puffer's gonna poke the whale shark's mouth. No! I meant hello! <laughs> it's Uncle Quasi here to help you get all comfy and cozy. You got plenty of water to splash around in, right? There's nothing to worry about. We're having a really fun time here. We are? Yeah, because Uncle Quasi's gonna do a funny dance for you. It's called a Try to Open the Jaws <laughs> with all your might. Search the kills for a way out. Dash back to the jaws to try again, but slip and slide on this slippery time and <laughs> This is fun. Now what? Now it's 
Story time. Ah, uh, once upon a time, Uncle Quasi and a cute little puffer fish were waiting to be rescued by Uncle Barnacles and Uncle Peso, <laughs> who were taking forever. It's time for Plan B. When the whale shark opens his mouth, I'll swim in, put Puffy in the pack, and give you the signal. Cool. Then I'll throw the rope and pull everyone out. Ready? Ready, Captain. Three, two, one, jump! Yeah. You can do it, Peso. <sighs> Look, it's Uncle Peso. Stay calm, Puffy. We're just going to... Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Captain, use your polar bear strength. Uh, I'm trying, but he's using his whale shark sucking strength. Whoa! And it's Uncle Barnacles. If we go through that sponge wall, we'll end up in the stomach. Grab onto the gills. Sounds like the whale shark's about to open up for lunch. Now's our chance. <laughs> Uncle Quasi's getting you out of here. Ouch! Yow! Captain, a rope! Puffy! I saw! He's going through the sponge wall! That must have really hurt. We can't let him reach the stomach. Phew! Hold on, Puffy! We have to get him back into water fast. The whale shark doesn't like Puffy's sharp spike digging into him. I can't quite reach his tail. You can if you hold on to me. Gotcha! Watch out for really big fish. 
gotta keep an eye and an eye out for them. <laughs> <laughs> Done. Fit as a fiddle fish. Here's your last patient, Peso. And how are you today? Crabby. Because, well, I'm a crab and my shell hurts. Hmm. Sorry to hear that. Let's take a look. Now, don't be nervous. This X ray viewer just lets me see inside your shell. Aha. Uh -huh. You've got a small stone in there, Captain. May I? <laughs> oh, oh, that's better. <laughs> Thanks, Captain. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> a young sperm whale, and he looks like he needs help. Hello. Are you all right? My name is... Oh, oh, don't hurt me. Don't be scared. I'm here to help. Oh, get, get, get away. But I... Show your teeth and do your worst. We're not afraid of a little whale like you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sperm whales, we are not here to fight. We are the Octonauts. <laughs> Captain, it looks like we're outnumbered. Maybe not. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts were surrounded by a pod of angry sperm whales. We've got to work out why and fast. Shellington, take a look. Jumping jellyfish. They're humongous beasts with humongous teeth. Sperm whales don't bite or use their teeth to eat. They sometimes show them to protect their young, but only when they think they're in danger. Oh, 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 Orker! Orker! Captain, young sperm whales are afraid of orcas. I don't see any orca. Hmm. Neither do I. But I wonder if... Peso? Me? <laughs> Him? Dashie, send me a picture of a... Orca? Already on it, Captain. Sperm whales, there's been a misunderstanding. Peso is not an orca. He's a penguin. You thought he was an orca? <laughs> <laughs> oh? He is black and white like an orca. But he's tiny. We never had a chance for a proper hello. We are the Octonauts. I hope you're not still scared. Probably. Scaredy Simon is scared of everything. <laughs> Will you dive down with us this time, Simon? Oh, no. Oh. They're right. I'm scared of everything, especially diving. What's so important about diving? All sperm whales dive deep down in the ocean to find food. Except him. <laughs> oh, I'll never learn to dive. I keep thinking I can do it, but I can't. It's too deep. Ah, oh, it's deep and dark and scary. But that's what makes it an adventure, me hottie! Ooh. Did I say something wrong? <laughs> you know, I happen to know someone who's a champion diver. You do? Who? Hey, so. Penguins have to learn to dive too. But when I was little, I was scared to dive, just like you. Oh, you really think you could teach me? I don't see why not, unless you still think I'm an orca. <laughs> no. This shouldn't take long, Captain. <laughs> see, it's not so bad. Just a 
little deeper and we'll find the rest of your pod. I can do it. I can do it. I oh, can't do it. Let's try it backwards. It's not so scary this way, is it? I can do it. I can do it. I can't do it! This may take a little longer than I thought. Hmm. Quasi and I'll head back to the octopod. Radio us when you need a lift home. Good luck, matey. Simon, I've just remembered something. When I was learning to dive, there was a little trick that helped me not be afraid. Oh, what was it? Right before the dive, I would take a deep breath and then close my eyes tight. <sighs> you see, you can do it. Yes, I can do it. I can do it. I... <gasps> Um, excuse me, Mr. Clam. Would you mind opening your mouth? I can do it. I can do it. Oh, who am I fooling? Oh. Yeah. Help! I soaked. A giant clam fell to the bottom of the sea. <gasps> Simon, will you dive down to help us? I... I'm sorry. I want to help Peso, but I just can't do it. It's all right. We'll find him. <gasps> Peso's medical bag. Look, the clam. Uh, Quasi, I think you mean clowns. Shiver me whiskers! We'll have to search shell by shell. Peso? 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 Ah! Whoa! Try the X-ray viewer. Clam. Clam. Another clam. <laughs> I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. This time is for Peso. Clam, clam, Peso, clam, clam, Peso. Quasi. Are you all right, Peso? Well, it's getting a bit cozy. <laughs> Look out! <laughs> We've got to get out of here before we're all clam sandwiches. It's too heavy. We need a... Whale! What? Simon! Whoa! I did it! I did it! I dived! I knew you could do it! Yeah, that's great, but we've still got to save... Peso! Hey, look, it's Simon. Out of my way! I've got you, Peso! <laughs> but how do we get it open? Hmm. Don't worry. We've dealt with giant clams before. Ready, Quasi? Aye, Captain. <laughs> Ready. Ready, Peso? Ready. All right. When I give the command, tickle, pull, leap. Tickle. <laughs> That's it. Now. Leap. Phew. Good job, everyone. Especially you, Simon. Thanks for helping to save me. No problem. Hey. Who wants to go back down? We should put the giant clam back where we found him. Oh, I can do it! <laughs> Come on, everyone! Follow me! Hey, wait for me! He can 
do it. He can do it. He did it. Woohoo! <laughs> <sighs> what a long day. I can't wait to get back to the Octopod to get some rest. Don't worry, Peso. We'll be home in no time. It just so happens that I know a super secret shortcut through a mangrove forest. Turn left up here, Captain. Something's not right here. The mangrove forest is completely flooded. He's right, Captain. Here's what the mangrove forest used to look like. And now it's almost all underwater. We'd better take a look around and see if any creatures need our help. Uh -oh. We'll swim the rest of the way, Peso. <sighs> Looks like it's deserted. Aye. <gasps> we should all stay alert. Let's spread out and check for creatures. Aye, Aye Captain. Captain. No creatures here, Captain. All clear over here, too. No creatures here either. Octonauts, let's move out. Ow! Ooh! Huh. What, what's going on? Hello. What are you doing in here? Flappity flippers. Quasi, Peso, open your helmets, quick. No! Ow! Don't worry. We just need to open our helmets so we can get you back in the water. Forget about it. This water's too deep for us and we can't swim too good. But your fish. What kind of fish doesn't want to be in the water? Ain't it obvious? We're mud skippers. Mud skippers? That's right. We can breathe air. <sighs> So we spend most of our time on land. Mud's what we need. That's where we live. And that's where we eat. There used to be plenty of mud around here, but now it's all underwater. Oh, so that's why you hitched a ride in our helmets. With everything flooded, we can't stay here. There's hardly any mud left. Yeah, if we don't find a new place, we're done for. <laughs> well, why didn't you say so? We'll help you find a new home, mateys. <laughs> You do that for us? Watch the catch. There's no catch at all. We're the Octonauts. Helping sea creatures is what we do. Uh, OK. OK. But it's not like we need help or nothing. Of course not. But you'd be doing us a favor if you let us help you. Well, since you put it that way, sure, why not? Octonauts, to the launch bay. <laughs> We need to find a new home for our friends, the Mudskippers. Mudskippers, eh? Fascinating. I've never seen one up close. They'll need a place with lots of mud. There's another mangrove forest nearby, Captain. This one's not flooded. There should be plenty of mud there. If we leave now, then we should be able to get there by tomorrow morning. Hey, don't go out of your way on our account or nothing. Oh, um, we happen to be heading that way anyway. What a co-winky dink. I ask you, what are the odds? Junip, let's prepare a nice muddy space for our guests in the garden pod. Dashi, set a course for the mangrove forest. Already on it, Captain. Think you'll be all right in here, mudskippers. Ah, uh, the mud's a little lumpy, but uh, I guess it ain't terrible. Yeah, not bad. I've skipped in worse. Good. Well, uh, we'll see you in the morning then. Yeah, good night. What in the world? Captain, what's that horrible noise? I'm not sure, Peso. It sounds like it's coming from the garden pod. What's going on? Just solving a situation here. By mud wrestling? It was in my mud. Your mud? Forget about it. It's my mud now. I'm not listening. Talk to the fish. Ooh. Easy, mud skippers. We just want to. Whoa! Whoa! Skippers. Oh, 
<laughs> They're heading for the HQ. Yes, mud in your eyes. Hey, whoever jumps the highest gets all the mud on the cell. You're on. Check this out. <laughs> <laughs> you call that a jump? This is a jump. Hey! Jumping jellyfish. Oh, what's going on? Oh, duh! These mud skippers are having a rumble over the mud and they sure fight dirty. Of course, I should have known. Mud skippers like to have their own space and they often fight over it. Uh oh! Then there's only one way to settle this. We'll have to separate them until we reach the mangrove forest in the morning. Ha! Peso, quasi, catch! Quasi, scoop up some mud and head for the game pod. Peso, you take some mud to the launch bay, and I'll head back to the garden pod. Hey, that's my mud! Come back! Sorry about this. Yeah, catch me if you can! <laughs> Is everyone comfortable now? Sure am. Thanks to Peso, I've got this whole place to myself. Oh, yeah. Quasi said the mud is all mine. My name is Mud. Captain Mud. Uh, let's get some sleep now. We need to take you mud skippers to your new home as early as possible tomorrow morning. Good night. Good night. Good night. Now, this is what a mangrove forest should look like. Quasi, Peso, let's spread out and find some nice mud banks for our friends. You gonna let him water you around like that? Well, he is the captain. Says who? You're just as good as he is. Him? Ah, oh, don't make me laugh. Quasi here should be in charge. Forget about it. The captain here is the toughest guy around. Oh, well, you know, besides me, of course. Hmm. They want to go that own way? Fine by me. Who needs those yo-yos? Am I right or am I right? Just keep your eyes peeled for some mud, matey. <laughs> you can count on me. See anything yet? I see a seagull and another seagull. And I see a crab and a lobster and a big old crocodile. And a bunch of shrimp. Wait, what was the last one? The shrimp? N no, the one before that. Oh, that was a crocodile. Oh. Crocodile! Ow! <laughs> Captain! Face up! I've got a giant crocodile on me tail! We're on our way! Hey! You want a piece of this big guy? Come and get it! That's not helping! You! He's leaving! My helmet! It's broken! Uh oh! We're trapped! Don't worry, matey! I'll get us some air! Any sign of them? Nada. Zip. Nothing. Over there, Captain. Quasi. This calls for some polar bear strength. Come on, you can do it. We're rooting for you, big guy. Thanks, Captain. Hey, no biggie. I could have done that if I wasn't stuck in this stinking helmet. Here we are. Hey, check it out. Not bad. It looks like there's plenty of room for all of you here. Woohoo! Love the new location. Thanks for helping us, even though we didn't really need it. Uh, give me some fin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm going to let those yahoos grab all the best spots? Forget about it. Do you think the mud skippers will be all right here? Hey, that's I, saw it quite. Oh, I have a feeling they'll be just fine. Or as they might say, forget about it. 
Is the cup B ready to go, Tweak? Yep. I've put in an eject button just like you wanted, Quasi. It'll help you escape from the gup in an emergency. Yow! Press this, and you'll be bounced out of the gup B faster than you can say bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. Thanks, Tweak. Time to take a ride and test out the new button. Yow! Now, hold on. You need to know how to work this thing. I press the button, I get bounced out of the gup. Easy. First, you turn off the engine, then you press the button. Hi, I, me hearty. Now open the octo hatch. If you don't turn off the engine first, the gut bee will drive away without you. Got it. Now let's go. <sighs> But really works. Um. <gasps> oh no, the cup beat. I I forgot to turn off the engine. Problem. You forgot, didn't you? Forgot? No! Um, forgot what? All right, all right. I forgot to turn off the engine before I pushed the eject button, and now I've lost my favourite cup. Captain, there's no time to lose. We've got to find it. Tweak, sound the octo alert. Octonaut to the HQ. Octonauts, the gut B is lost. And I'm the one who lost her, me hearties. The first thing to do is to work out where to look for her. Dashi, check the gup finder. It should show us where the gut B is. I'm already on it, Captain. <gasps> there she is! But it looks like it's stuck in the middle of something very large. Shellington, we may need you to help us figure out what this thing is. Tweak, we'll need the Gup C right away. To the launch bay. Almost ready, Cap. I can hardly wait to see the Gup B again, me hearties. Look, I found some pictures I took of you in the Gup B. I painted those shark teeth on her myself. We've won races together and made thrilling escapes together. <sighs> There's just no other gut like the gut bee, mateys. Don't worry, we'll get her back. This shouldn't take long. Is the gut sea ready, Tweak? Ah, ready, Cap. Yow! Tweak, open the octo hatch. Right away, Cap. Captain, it looks like we're getting close to the gut B. Towing her back home should be an easy job. Aye, no trouble at all. Look at that! Jumping jellyfish! It's a giant kelp forest! Hmm, the gup finder shows that the gup bee must be somewhere inside the kelp forest. We'll have to go in and look for her. Quasi, you go... Oh. Quasi! Oh. Let's go, Shellington. A 
amazing. Giant kelp is the tallest plant under the sea. It stretches up and up so the kelp leaves can reach the sun. Just like a forest on land, a kelp forest is a home for lots of different creatures. It won't be easy to find the gup bee in a kelp forest this big. But according to the gup finder, we're close. This way! Whoa! Watch out! There's a big orange shark in the forest! Orange shark? Hold on! That must be the gup bee! Come back here! What did you say about seeing a big orange shark? I saw it zoom into the forest, that's all. And this is my hiding place, so go away. Is this what you saw, matey? <gasps> yes. Oh, I can't look. Those big teeth make me nervous. Hi, matey. But they aren't real teeth. I painted them. Look. <laughs> stand back or else. Uh, Quasi, you better stand back because... Because what? <gasps> <laughs> Uh, he's called a swell shark. When he feels threatened, he swallows enough water to swell up like a balloon, and then... Yes, I know what happens then, Shellington. Look, now we're even closer to the gut bee. I'm coming for you, gut bee! Yeah. Hey, what's happening, guys? A shovel-nosed guitar fish. Oh, no. Does this one spit as well? No. He mostly hides under the sand. I knew that. We're looking for our lost gup. It's called the gup bee, and it's bright orange. Have you seen it? <clears throat> our gup finder shows that it should be right around here, but we can't find it. Hmm. I don't know about any gup, but when you feel down, it helps to look up. Oh, the scurvy creatures in this place are no help at all. We'll never find it. It helps to look up. <gasps> Wait, we do need to look up. Captain, a kelp forest is like a tall building with many floors. Ah, and so far, we've only looked for the gut bee down here. But it could be somewhere up there. Octonauts, let's go. The gup finder shows that the gup bee should be right here. Then why can't we see it? Where could it be? You! Yeah, you! you. <laughs> here, over here. Who said that? Up here! <laughs> Up where? Right here, silly! <laughs> where? Captain, the kelp leaves are talking to me. Kelp leaves? Talking? They say that the gut bee's right here. Oh, but where? Look, there's nothing here but kelp. It's... it's... The gut bee! Yeah! Did you miss me? Ha <laughs> I missed you too. We told you it was right in front of you. You're not a kelp leaf. I'm a kelp fish. We're all kelp fish. <laughs> <laughs> they do look just like leaves of kelp. That makes it easy for us to hide whenever we want in the kelp forest. Come along now. Playtime is over. Hi, Mum. We really fooled them. <laughs> they thought we were kelp leaves. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice, children. Octonaut, let's get the gup bee out of this forest. Yow! Aye, aye, Captain! <sighs> it's good to be back in my favourite gup. You just put your feet up, Quasi, but not on the eject button. <laughs> yeah, very funny. <laughs> Say, ah. Uh... 
looks good. Great. Now, can you tell me how many flippers I'm holding up? <coughs> Two. That's right. You're a completely healthy fish. Next. Oh, no. Let me take a look at that. Don't worry. My name's Peso. I'm an octonaut and a medic. I help creatures who are hurt or sick. If you let me bandage that claw, it will feel better. Ah, good as new. These Arctic waters are cold. I'd better head back to the octopod and warm up. Whoops! My medical bag. Oh no, I've got to find it. Aha! Just a clam. I know it's down here somewhere. <gasps> a walrus. He's using his whiskers to find clams. <laughs> Maybe he can help me find my medical bag. Oh, thank you. I've been... Oh, hey. <laughs> what a weird clam. Hey, the chief might like that. Wait, come back. That's not a clam. It's my medical bag. Captain. Go ahead, Peso. Captain, my medical bag has been taken <gasps> by a walrus. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, can anyone think of why a walrus would take Peso's medical bag? He must have thought it was a clam. Yes, they do love to eat clams, Captain. It had all my bandages and medicine. Without my medical bag, I can't help creatures feel better. Don't worry, Peso. We're going to find that walrus. We'll march right up to that whiskery lump and make him give back your medical bag. Yow! Peso, Quasi, to the Gup A. Open the octahatch, Tweak. Right away, Cap. Ahoy! One whiskery walrus right ahead. We must be getting close to a walrus colony where they live. Whoa! That's a lot of walruses. If your bag's in there, we'll find it. <clears throat> um, hello there. I believe there's been a misunderstanding. You see... Hey, you guys aren't walruses. You got that right. We're octonauts. This is our colony. Walruses only. Um, easy now. We just want to... All right, back off. Move on. Oh, Move on. Well, well, uh, 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 oh. well, 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 well. Enjoy the dip. So much for marching right up to them. <laughs> got me when I wasn't ready. Avast, you scurvy walruses. Hmm. There's got to be another way for us to get into the walrus colony. And then, splash, we all fell into the water. Hmm. Walruses don't like to share their home with other creatures. Sounds like if you're not a walrus, you're not getting in. But if we looked like a walrus and acted like a walrus... Maybe we could sneak in. And find my medical bag. Tweak, we're going to need your help. Sure thing, Cap. Octonauts, Operation Octo Walrus begins now. Let's go. Think Tweak's costume will fool them? If it'll get my medical bag back, it's worth a try. Fair enough. Come in, Shellington. This is Barnacles. We're sneaking into the walrus colony now. Excellent. Now it's very important that you act like a walrus. Don't let them push you around. Huh. Must be a new guy. Walruses say hello by blowing in each other's faces. Blow back or they'll think you're being rude. Oh, um... 
That's all you've got. Huh. Um, we need to blow harder. Everybody. One, two, three. <gasps> Now that's more like it. Nice to meet you. If you've got any extra clams, give them to the chief. He's hungry. We've all got to share our food until he feels better and can find his own. Right. Thanks for the tip. It's working. We've made it inside the colony. One of Peso's stickers. We must be getting close. Keep your eyes peeled. You're stepping on me tail. Sorry. But it's hard when they keep smooshing up against us. Ah, typical walrus behaviour. They love to get cosy and cuddle with one another. Cosy isn't quite the word for it. Phew, that's better. Don't get too relaxed. Aye, what's this? A new guy? That's the one who took my medical bag. <sighs> Come in, Shellington. We've got an angry walrus heading right for us. Jumping jellyfish. It's a walrus challenge. Ugh. He wants to see who's bigger and tougher. If we want him to tell us where the bag is, we'll have to challenge him back. We could be bigger and tougher than he is. Hop on me shoulders, Captain. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. <laughs> bigger. <laughs> Are you okay, Peso? Um, I'm okay. Okay, okay. You're bigger than I thought. Where is the medical bag? M medical bag? It's white and uh, it opens up and inside... Oh, you mean uh, the funny white clam that I found? I gave it to the chief to try and cheer him up. Which one is the chief? The chief is probably the biggest walrus with the biggest tusks. Aha! Bring him on! Careful. Quasi, try to get back into position. Huh? I can't get back in position while you're sitting Ooh. on my... Oh. Hey, 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 hey. Intruders! Oh, run! Captain, come in. What's going on? Have you located the chief yet? Shellington, this really isn't a good time. <laughs> Take them to the chief. At least we get to meet the chief. What are you doing in our colony? Speak. Uh, please, we didn't mean to bother you. We're just looking for Peso's bag. You mean that strange white clam? That's it, my medical bag. Your medical bag? I'm the Chief Walrus. It's mine. We don't want any trouble, Chief, but that bag belongs to my friend Peso. You think you can just waddle into my colony and tell me what to do? <clears throat> oh no, his flipper. Stop! You shouldn't be walking around on a hurt flipper. <clears throat> If it's not bandaged right now, it will only get worse and worse until... Oh, my flipper really does hurt. Can you tell me what happened? Oh, I twisted it the other day, and now I can't even swim. That's why everybody's been bringing you clams to eat. Do you think you could do anything for me? Hmm, one twisted flipper. I'll need my medical bag. Uh, all right. Here. There. Good as new. Hey. Thank you. It feels better already. I don't know what I would have done without you. And I don't know what I would have done without my medical bag. Now remember, you take it easy on that flipper. I will. And you come back to visit whenever you like. I hereby declare you all honorary walruses. Will you join us in the official walrus cheer? Octonauts, our mission today is to find out what kind of sharks visit this reef. 
I can't wait to get out there and study them as closely as possible. But not too closely. Sharks can be dangerous. Aye, and that's why I just can't wait to get going and... Clean the gunk off the outside of the gups? What? It's your turn to do gup cleanup duty, Quasi. Ah, what's the big hurry, Captain? They can't be that dirty. Our gups are covered in gunk, and they don't work well when they're dirty. Ah, <sighs> aye, aye. I'll make them ship shape, but I'd rather be swimming with the sharks. Um, what about the gup, eh, Captain? It seems dirty too. Don't worry, Peso. She should be fine for a quick mission. Uh, maybe not. Aha! There she goes. Open the octo hatch, Tweak. Right away, Cap. Okay, I'll get to work. After a quick game of table tennis, come on! Oh, look! There's a pilot fish. No sharks yet, though. Hmm, let's move further down the reef. Maybe we'll have better luck there. Some might say this is easier for you, Professor Inkling. You win. Well done, Quasi. <laughs> I better get back to cleaning those cups. Well, maybe just one more game against all of you. You're, You're on. on. Hmm, no sharks here. Nothing here either. Try the front window. <gasps> Jumping jellyfish. It's a... A sha, sha, sha. A great big white tip shark. See the white tips on its fins. Oh, and look at those teeth. Ooh, we could use a toothbrush. Whoa. <laughs> What's he oh. trying to do? Oh, Captain, I think he's trying to take a bite out of the gut. He could hurt himself and us. Hold on, Octonauts. <laughs> Uh-oh. Sounds like some gunk got in the propeller. Hold on, everyone. All right, mateys. The next point wins. <gasps> Shiver! Whiskers! It's the Guppe! Having a grand adventure chasing after a shark. They're not chasing that shark. The shark is chasing them. <laughs> ah, we can't seem to shake him. Peso, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to your stations. We need to get away from this shark. Open the octo hatch, Tweak. You got it, Cap. Hold on, everyone. <laughs> Ready, Tweak? Now close it. Phew. Good work, Octonauts. Fascinating. I wonder why that shark decided to chase us. Maybe you looked like a tasty dinner, Mihartis. 
No, that can't be it. Sharks don't eat ships. I'm just glad that shark didn't catch us. That'll teach me to take out a gunky gup. Um, how's the gup cleaning coming along, Quasi? I haven't started, finished yet, Captain. <clears throat> well, back to work. <sighs> What? <laughs> Who cleaned the cup, eh? I did. Hello, how did you get in here? I followed the cup and I'm ready for more and more more. You mean, you like cleaning? Like it? I live for it. I'm a pilot fish. It's how I get food. I eat the gunk off of things. Eat and clean. Clean and eat. <laughs> then dinner is served. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's filthy. Mm, delicious. Oh, look at that. Filthy. Great work, Quasi. These gups have never been cleaner. Well, as I always say, Captain, if you're going to do a job, you might as well do it properly. I'm amazed how fast you were able to do this. And all on your own, too. Um, yes. <laughs> well, I, I didn't do it all on my own. You didn't? Quasi, I'm still hungry. I need to eat and clean, clean and eat. You got any more? Um, <laughs> meet my new cleaning assistant, the pilot fish. Hello. You must have followed us back here from the reef. The reef? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I bet I could find something to eat and clean out there. What do you pilot fish usually clean? Sharks. Shiver me whiskers. Isn't that dangerous? Nope. Pilot fish and sharks help each other. I keep the shark's teeth clean. The shark scares away other fish that might try to eat me. If I could find another shark, then I could eat and clean all I want. I'd never be hungry again. Hey, there was a shark at the reef who chased us, and his teeth were pretty dirty. I wonder if they just needed a clean. A shark with dirty teeth? Oh, boy, boy, do you think we could find him? I reckon we can. Octonauts, our little friend helped us clean the gups. And now we're going to help him find that white tip shark. Peso, Quasi, you're with me. I'm ready to protect our little pilot fish if anything goes wrong with that shark. And I'm ready to take care of both of you if you get hurt. And I'm ready to eat and clean, clean and eat. Octonauts, let's do this. Open the octo hatch, Tweak. You got it, Cap! This definitely beats cleaning cups, me hotties! Ah, there's no sign of that shark anywhere. What if we can't find him? <gasps> Shark. And his teeth are still dirty, too. Yow! <laughs> Steady! Mm -mm -mm. Time to eat and clean. Clean and eat. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Open wide, buddy! Oh. He's okay. Ah, uh, that's better already. You're just the little fella I needed to clean my teeth. Hey, <laughs> I'm glad to help. So the shark was just trying to use the gup A as a toothbrush to clean his teeth. But now he has his own pilot fish to do the job. And I have my own shark to protect me. Gotta go. Eat and clean. Clean and eat. You know how it is. Thanks, Octonauts. Bye. Bye, pilot fish. I'm gonna miss that little fella. I guess I'll have to clean the gups all by myself next time. Oh, I'll help you, Quasi. You will? Of course. Eat and clean. Clean and eat. You know how it is. <laughs> 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 